So this video is going to show you how you can use Jamboard uh, to create interactive worksheets that your students can complete and draw over the top of and how you can share those using Google Classroom. Um, so this is Jamboard and it's just basically like a online whiteboard software. Uh, you can add images, you can add sticky notes, um, but it can be really useful for creating worksheets. So here I've got an example of a worksheet that I've taken a screenshot of the actual question and then this was completed by one of my students and they can draw over the top of it and they can, um, if there's questions where they have to match things, they can do that. Um, and it's just an easy way of sharing those worksheets with the students so they can complete it without having to print it off and upload pictures to you. So the way it works is I've got a worksheet here that asks the students to draw a line of symmetry for each shape. Um, so I could just post this on Google Classroom, but then how would they interact with it? It's quite hard to draw lines in a Google Doc or in Microsoft Word or in a PDF. Um, so what you can do is if you open a new tab and go to jam.new, that will create a blank Jamboard in your Google Drive, if you're wondering where it's saved. Um, and then if you go to the worksheet, and this might be you know, a, a PDF from Twinkle or from whatever your math scheme of work is, um, and then I'm going to take a screenshot. Now, I'm using a Mac, and so the shortcut for that is Command, Shift, and 4, or Command, Control, Shift, and 4, copies it to your clipboard like I just did. But it's worth, whatever device you're on, it's really worth spending a bit of time Googling how do you take screenshots on that device and learning those shortcuts because it will save you a lot of time later on. So now I can just paste that in as an image and maybe move it. Uh, some people as well like to actually set the background to this image so that students can't accidentally move it or accidentally delete it, um, which you can do. Uh, but because I copied it, I'm just gonna paste it for ease. Um, and now when students get this worksheet, they'll be able to draw over the top of it and draw the lines of symmetry if there are any. Um, you can add more slides. So if there are other parts of the worksheet, you can uh, take more screenshots if, it's, if it is relevant. So I might just add in another one on there. And then when you've done that, you've created your worksheet. That's the first step, actually creating the blank worksheet or like the template that's gonna get sent to them. You might want to name it, so I'll just call this uh, Symmetry Worksheet. So now the next step is to leave this, and it feels a bit strange, like have I saved it? And um, But yeah, it, it all saves automatically in Google Drive, so now I'm just gonna close that. And then over in my Google Classroom, so here, this is just a demo class, um, I'm going to go into classwork up here where you can create assignments. I'm gonna create an assignment and call it symmetry worksheet. Symmetry worksheet. You can give instructions, but now I'm gonna to go to add from Google Drive and it will automatically show your recent. So the symmetry worksheet is there straight away. Um, but now here's the really, really important part. By default, it will show you that students can view the file. So that means they'll only be able to look at it and you can click it to double check it is what you intended and just check, yep, yeah, it's got both parts of the worksheet. Um, but when, at the moment, if I assigned this to the students, they would only be able to look at that worksheet. They wouldn't actually be able to, to do anything. It's like read only. Um, another option is students can edit the file but bear in mind, that means they would all be able to edit this one file. So that's a bit like having one worksheet in the middle of a classroom with all the students having their own pen drawing on top of it. Um, so sometimes that's useful, but not in this situation. Uh, this bottom option is a really useful one. Make a copy for each student, and this will take that worksheet uh, and it will copy it, a bit like going to the photocopy, it will copy one copy for every child who's in this classroom. Um, and then when I click assign, you can fiddle with some of the settings over here if you want to, if you've got topics and due dates and whatever else, and you can schedule it. Uh, but yeah, when you click assign, that will then create it, create a copy for every student and they'll be, be able to go in and view their work. Um, so just to give you an idea of 
what that looks like. Here I've got some student work that I set last year or before the summer. Um, and I can see here, I can scroll through uh, the students and find out how they got on with the tasks, see the different ways of doing it. So this child um, has used the text feature to put in the numbers. Sometimes students, I find they uh, prefer to draw it like that. Um, but yeah, it's just a way of creating worksheets that students can draw on and then they don't have to print things off and it can make your life a bit easier as a teacher. So I hope that was helpful. And yeah, there are plenty of other videos that you can watch with lots of tips on this website. Um, so yeah, good luck and thanks for watching.